Hey guys, thanks for watching the second second Kale Achievements video. We're doing the Passing Left 4 Dead DLC. I'm Frank. I'm Ryan. Hey, we got Ryan in, in the studio. It's not even a studio, it's your basement. <laughs> Just a couple guys in your basement making videos. All right, uh, you don't make it sound gay at all. <laughs> all right, so. Okay, yeah, my son's going off in the back. Anyway. Yeah, um, sure. This is a. Uh, we're just going over the tough spots. The achievement is for Torchbear. It's just beating the campaign because uh, Left 4 Dead has one achievement for beating each campaign. Three chapters long. We're just going to go over the tough parts in each chapter. So in the Franco first. Franco really needed help, so I came in. You're getting your face humped over there. It really Fucking hurt, Jock. <laughs> uh, hey, look, it's a reference. Uh, Plans for Zombies reference for all you guys who play it. Look, see, crazy day for an M60. So that last, that last thing we saw over there, that was the tough spot in the first chapter when there's a witch kind of at a wedding. And uh, you're kind of fighting all the zombies there, horde spawns. This is the tough part in the second chapter. Uh, you have to run through this underground area. It's one of those um, rolling crescendos, the ones where the zombies keep spawning until you reach the end. So It was really hard. But if, you, if you're lucky enough to get an M16 spawn or, uh, or um, any machine gun spawn, you could run through it quickly. Yeah, def. The M60 is actually really good. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the new uh, new weapons in the campaign. Also adds this right here, the golf club. I'm surprised you mentioned it. Golf club's amazing for headshots. Definitely. Yeah, there's a we got an achievement uh, a video about that coming up. So uh, stay tuned. But anyhow, uh, we kind of get in a bit of trouble here. But man, just set a bunch of zombies on fire, kill them, and cool. That was a tough part in the second chapter. The third chapter, exact same finale as Dead Center. Uh, you got to collect the cans, fuel the generator because it lowers the bridge. Uh, I guess story-wise, the way it all fits is uh, your car, after you steal it from the mall in the first campaign, you need to get across the bridge to reach like the carnival area thing. So, whatever. Spoilers. Uh, <laughs> I was going to see if Bruce Wayne's <laughs> mad. <laughs> yeah, uh, Bill, Bill dies. Spoilers, but... Uh, Don't know how. Yeah. I took his M16 in commemoration. So, yeah, we did this with a couple of bots, actually. It wasn't that hard. We ran through on normal with uh, relatively no problems. So, yeah, after we get all the cans, just uh, make sure you... Make a mad dash to your car. See the bridge. The bridge is kind of lowered. So, actually, when you're in that area with the generator, uh, you get covered by uh, the, the original oh survivors. Oh yeah, the original survivors are covering you. Yeah. Alice has a crush on Zoe. And you call him Alice. Alice. His name's Alice. Alice. I said Alice oh, did you? Uh, whatever. Alice. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> here they're looking, and they they talk they talk some shit about Nick, and uh, Nick is actually Franco. Shut up. Franco is gay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.